When ankle-deep floodwaters from Hurricane Helene bubbled up through the floors of their home, Cat Robinson Malone and her husband sent a late-night text message to their neighbors two doors down, Hey, we're coming. The couple waded through the flooded street to the elevated front porch of Chris and Kara Sundar, whose home was built on higher ground, and handed over their eight-year-old daughter and a gas-powered generator. The Sundar's Lime Greenhouse in southern Tampa also became a refuge for Brooke and Adam Karstensen, whose house next door to Robinson Malone also flooded. The three families met years earlier when their children became playmates, and the adults' friendships deepened during the coronavirus pandemic in 2020. So when Helene and Hurricane Milton struck Florida within two weeks of each other, the neighbors closed ranks as one big extended family, cooking meals together, taking turns watching children and cleaning out their damaged homes. And as Milton threatened a direct strike on Tampa last week, the Malones, the Sundars, and the Karstensons decided to evacuate together. They drove more than 450 miles in a caravan to Metro Atlanta seven adults, six children, four dogs, and teenage Max Karstensen's three pet rats. Everyone has, like, the chainsaw or the tarp, Cat Robinson Malone said Sunday. But really the most important thing for us was the community we built. And that made all the difference for the hurricane rescue and the recovery. And now, hopefully, the restoration, she added. Recovery efforts continued Sunday in storm-battered communities in central Florida, where President Joe Biden surveyed the devastation. Biden said he was thankful the damage from Milton was not as severe as officials had anticipated. But he said it was still a cataclysmic event for people caught in the path of the hurricane, which has been blamed for at least 11 deaths. Nearly 800,000 homes and businesses in Florida remained without electricity Sunday. According to PowerOutage.us, down from more than 3 million after Milton made landfall late Wednesday as a Category 3 storm. Fuel shortages also appeared to be easing as more gas stations opened, and lines at pumps in the Tampa area looked notably shorter. Ron DeSantis announced nine sites where people can get 10 gallons each for free. While recovery efforts were gaining steam, a full rebound will take far longer. DeSantis cautioned that debris removal could take up to a year, even as Florida shifts nearly 3,000 workers to the cleanup. Meanwhile, residents unable to move back into their damaged homes were making other arrangements. Kat Robinson Malone and her husband, Brian, bought a camper trailer that's parked in their driveway. They plan to live there while their gutted home is repaired and also improved to make it more resilient against hurricanes. The Karstensens planned to demolish what's left of their flooded, low-slung home, which was built in 1949, and replace it with a new house higher off the ground. We had not the, the uh, drywall out of here. With Hurricane Helene, our home took on about, a, about four to five inches inside, about a foot and a half outside. I have a drywall. It's amazing the so far. Good. Um, we had the chairs. I know, but it's not. When the water started coming in down the street, we knew it was going to be different um, than it had ever been. And so we, we got our daughter out. I carried her on my back. We would have privacy. Yes, and we bought it because we knew ours, they were able to do a lot on their own. Uh, the sewage wouldn't stop coming in, and at that point it just wasn't safe. So, so we got the kids ready and the animals. Yeah. The, all the families kind of con uh, congregated around the Sundars. Um, we stayed there, they helped us, and then when Milton came, we all decided to evacuate together. Kind of the rubber meets the road of are you going to be community or not? <laughs> you know, we had, we had clean, dry space. We had towels and showers and we could run our washing machine. And like, that couldn't be said for everyone. <laughs> they were the, the base. We would have dinners there. We had a birthday party for Max. He turned 13. And then I 
I would say the smaller storms, you know, we still communicate and check in with each other and make sure everybody um, is safe and has what they need. But this was such another level that um, we needed each other. Like the neighbors down the street, their um, tree was blocking. Um, just they couldn't get in and out and they rode out the storm in their home. So we figured we'd start getting the trees down and start cleaning stuff up. We all, we all have our, our hurricane or our bug out kits or our hunker down kits and everyone has like the chainsaw or the tarp or this or that. But really the most important thing for us was the community we'd built. And that made all the difference for both the hur hurricane rescue and the recovery and now hopefully the restoration. Hi Kat. That's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you.